Welcome. Good morning. We, we need to get all the people outside to come in, so clap one more time really loud. And to get people in, part of what we do here is we have lots of giveaways. And if you're not here, you can't win. So uh, Matthew came up with a really new, we got a cool new bowl t this year. The bowl has copies of your badges. And I feel really bad for Steve McKim because he doesn't get anything. So. <laughs> oh, you have your badge. Okay. I'll, I'll put you back in the bowl. Just, just, yeah. So once you win, you get pulled out of the bowl. Uh, to start with, just to get everyone in and excited, uh, we have a special hand carried to me from Ryan Woodings just this morning, uh, a gift bag. And inside here is a special phrase. And if you call in with the phrase first, you will be the first to have their new product. <laughs> I won't go there. It's, it's the little air spike. So, first up today, the problem with these, I have to look away because I can see their names. Uh, and the uh, MetaGeek goes to, Matthew, what's your name doing in here? <laughs> if I pull another Matthew, we'll know something's up. Nate York. You can clap all you want, but if he's not here, he doesn't win. No Nate York? Matthew, just what was your name doing in the bowl? So no Nate York? Oh, man. Okay. Not, we gotta, gotta teach the point right from the very beginning. So if you know Nate, tell him he lost. And Anders Nielsen. A friend for Helga. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, sorry for you anal people, but it wiggled when it was in the middle, so we'll, we'll not have it quite centered. Uh, welcome. It's uh, another Wireless Land Professionals Conference season, time. We're glad you're all here. Um, I think we're kind of maxing out this room, so next year we'll probably be in some new location. Let's see if my uh, little ch changer works. Uh, like I've said, every time we've done this, this conference is all about the people. It's about you. It's not about me. Well, it is a little bit about me because I'm one of you. And the original uh, first time we held the conference, it was I wanted a conference that was a conference I wanted to go to. Uh, if you note on your badges, there's no barcode. Because I hate being a lead. You show up and they're like, hi, hi, how are you? Can I, can I? I wanted a conference where I'd go and just hang out with friends, talk about really cool tech, and learn about the things I wanted to learn about. And it happened to be that 80 other people wanted to do it. And five years later, we now have 300 plus people who want to do the same thing. So I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much. The reason it's about you is because even though you might work for a vendor, when you're here, you're just you. You're not representing. Perry's going to talk a little bit. He's Arrowhive, but he's also Perry, and he has some really good knowledge to share, so we've got him talking. We have, uh, just so you know the process, and it's really simple. Someone asked, how do you do this conference and get out really, really cool speakers? I went, all I do is ask, and people give me a list of what they want, and we send out a vote, and everyone votes on it, and the top votes get the long slots, the less votes get the 30-minute slots, and less votes get the 10 talks, and if you were part of the 60% that didn't get enough votes to make in the 10 talks, you didn't get in. I, sorry, we don't have enough time. <laughs> that, would, that would be a lot. As it is, we have a 
button that's not working. So, just a couple numbers. Hi, I am Sam Clements. He's the only one that has the Sam Clements thing. Uh, we had nine boot camp sessions. Uh, how many people, raise your hands if you were at boot camp? Yeah, it was like 45% of the people came to boot camp. So thank you very much. This is not the beginning, this is the middle of your week. So um, someone coined this as Geek Week and my kids thought that was really hilarious and so they've been teasing me the whole time. Oh yeah, you're at Geek Week again. Um, we have seven deep dive options that are gonna be going today and tomorrow. Um, Deep Dive started a couple years ago when someone said, why don't we have like a little maker session? And we attempted a couple things and tried and <laughs> failed and then tried again and got a little better. And this year we're doing five hours. So there'll be three hours today and two hours tomorrow. Uh, we could have had five more hours of five individual people speaking to 300 people. Or we could have you doing something you wanted to do for five hours. So we're going to try this and see how this works out. So we have seven Deep Dives. 45% of you attended a boot camp. Yay, that means you wanted to come and hang out for three extra days. Uh, of the boot camp attendees, we had um, nine of those, and the instructors for the boot camps are world class. They're the best we could find in the world to come and teach. What'd you think, were they good? <laughs> Sam's like looking at Jake going, well, I don't know about world class. He's like, good enough. Um, and of our audience, 15% of you will be up on stage speaking. That's because, again, it's about you. It's let's share our information. Now, we have some um, agenda issues. So today, you, you all have a copy of this. Uh, yes, I, I love Excel, and Blake hates me all the time when I use Excel. It's like, can't you use like a real tool? Um, and it's just in blocks. And you note, though I didn't put the names on the agenda, because it's a very fluid conference. We'll go along. If we free up some time, we'll put some more content in there. If someone goes long, you can throw things at them as long as they're soft. But I'm, you could throw things at them, especially this front row. Um, so that's the kind of what we're gonna do today during the day. So every day we're gonna go and ha start off with an hour long session in the morning, and then we go to 10 talks, then we go to 30 minute talks, then we break for lunch, we do some more again in the afternoon. And then we have at the end of the day, the deep dives. And the, when we get to deep dives, we'll split the rooms up and we'll, I'll show you where you're all going. Tonight we have uh, different events in the evening. So uh, about a third of you, this is your first time at a WLPC. So we don't have any vendor sponsors. We, they don't have vendor booths, you won't see anything out there. But in the evening after the conference is over, if a vendor wants to access you, uh, you're, you're, you're the, the, the product, uh, I don't sell you, I give you away for free. But if you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here at all. And so I told the vendors if they want to keep you here, they have to give you something. And it's usually like beer and pizza or something if you want to stay. So we have some evening events where the vendors tonight with Zekow, tomorrow's Nianza, and Eris is also tomorrow night. And so if you want to hang out after the conference is over, we're all for that. But those aren't conference-sponsored things. Those are just vendors having access to the room. So uh, is going to be out in the lobby Tomorrow night, Yance is gonna be split between the ballroom and the lobby, and Eris is gonna have a training session in here. Then later in the evening, over in Encantada, I never can say that really well, Encantada ballroom is on the other side of the swimming pool, kind of on the right side. And tonight, we're gonna to have a Lego building, a big Lego, the huge Hogwarts castle. So if you like building Lego, come and build Lego. When we're done, whoever was helping will be put in a pool and one of the people helping will get to take it home. It's like huge. We're also having a retro gaming night tonight with Sam and Joel, yay, um, and in the same room. So they'll, they'll just be evening activities, come and play games, we've got a bunch of things to, to do and so that's an evening tonight. Tomorrow night we have Whiskey and Wi-Fi podcast and if you have signed up for that, how many people signed up? Wow. Did you all get your codes from your thing? So remember, it, it was, it's a sign-up thing. Okay, so sessions. Uh, you have a list of these. We'll just be working through them. We have the, the 
three one-hour sessions, a bunch of 30-minute sessions. Um, on your short eight, David Coleman, he, he, he pulled a ghost frames on us and changed his title. Actually, he, he did it like over a month ago, and I forgot to edit it on your thing. So this is the real one, my, my mistake in making that. So don't, don't boo Coleman. Well, you can boo Coleman, but that's for, uh, for another reason. And then we have a whole bunch of 10 talks. Uh, there's 25 listed. We have slots for 30. I hold five or so for spare just because people get here and get excited and go, oh, I have a really cool idea. And so if you have a really cool idea, we'll get it in. Uh, Stuart's got one that we'll be putting in this morning. So uh, if, you, if you want to add one, send me an email, give me a title, and we'll get you added in the session. So this afternoon we have deep dives. The deep dives are color-coded by your little badge. If you also take out your card and look on the back of it, it will tell you what your deep dive is. <laughs> Uh, we went for these rather than like ones you might see at a normal conference because we want them to look like uh, you're an actual person and you carry these around at work all the time so we figured we make one that looks like that and works the same way if you put your uh, key from your room on the back and you just carry that and then you're all done uh, so if you need to check there there is no swapping of deep dives there's a very limited number of each deep dive count. We got some kits for you specifically, so you can't just like, oh, I'm gonna go to the first deep dive and I'm gonna swap. No, it, there, it's fixed, it's on your badge, you get in. What we're gonna do is have at the end of the last session, right before the deep dive, you all go out, boom, leave. We will pull these air walls closed. There'll be three big deep dives here. The three that are here are the Fiesta ones, Fiesta one, two, and three, so the bottom three will be in these three rooms. The other ones will be around the building in other locations. You can see the ones there. Uh, so just look at yours. Red Rock is down this hall. Coronado is down this hall. Tempe is also down this hall. For the first three, you're just gonna go down that hall. By the way, the bathrooms are right over there, if you're, if you're new here. So go down the hall, around to the bathrooms. Uh, Mike Albano's is across on the other side of the swimming pool. He wanted to be far away from the ones that are causing lots of fun, like the pen testing one or the, the RF one. So uh, three down this hall, one across, Mike Albano's is on the other side, and then the big three are in these three rooms. So some other issues. Um, we have a podcasting corner over here called Live Now. Ben, wave your hand. Hi, Ben. Ben's doing podcasting over here during uh, breaks and lunch for today and tomorrow. He's uh, launching a new uh, podcast interview. He'll talk to you five, 10 minutes uh, with a nice little background here. So he's already contacted a couple people. If you'd like to be interviewed by Ben for industry trends and et cetera, he's right back there, talk to Ben. Uh, we also have a headshot now, if you take your badge and look at it, and if you do not have a picture of yourself on it, uh, your punishment is, if I pull your name out of that bowl and there's no picture, I can't do a photo ID check, so I don't know it's really you. <laughs> so, oh, that, yes, you, somebody's gonna grow out green curls on their face just so they can get in. Uh, our social media hashtag is just WLPC, nothing else, just straight WLPC. Please uh, tag as much as you want. I already talked about vendor evenings. Uh, Jake came up with a cool idea. I think you should have a challenge of having meet five new friends. A lot of you already have lots of friends here, which is fantastic. If you just wanna take a challenge and say, you're gonna meet and know five new names before you leave, that'll be great. If you're standing around talking at night or around at a break or whatever, leave a gap in your circle, let someone else in. We, I mean, we, we don't want to be inclusive. I don't think anyone here is like, I don't want to talk to anyone else. Uh, but if you don't leave that opening, other people won't feel comfortable, so let's do for that. Uh, we have a slightly longer lunches, so you have more time to talk. It's not, just not about eating, it's about sharing and, and talking as well. We already did the retro gaming and stuff and the whiskey and wireless, great. 
uh, your kits last night didn't contain backpacks. So some people came to me very sad, no backpack. Yes, your backpack you're gonna get in your deep dive today. So the, the bulk of the stuff, like it's really hard to put a 3D printer in a B backpack. So there, those guys, you'll get a backpack, but it's, your printer's not inside. Um, for, depending on whatever class it is, when you get to your deep dive to this afternoon, that's where you'll get your class. The point to point with Jason, they're on the desk, they're not in the backpack. So you get a backpack, it just may or may not have your stuff in it. Some depends on what your session is. Uh, so you'll pick those up as you get into those sessions. We have another conference in Europe this October, but there's also other conferences in our industry. And I don't see them as that much competition to what we do. They're a different target audience, they do different things. So Wi-Fi Treks in Nashville in September. I've been to all the Wi-Fi Treks. I think they're a great conference. It's a great place to go and learn. Uh, usually more people getting into the industry. They have online, online testing, and if you attend their conference, you get a free test as part of the, it's fantastic. People said, can you do that? I'm like, I don't own the test, so I can't quite give them away. They cost a lot of money. There's also in May in DC, one called Wi-Fi Now. Wi-Fi Now is another conference, also focused on our same industry, a little more business oriented. I'm looking out here and I don't see a lot of ties. Um, but if you went to the Wi-Fi Now conference, you'd see a lot of ties and suits and three pieces and different audience, there's a huge market in the Wi-Fi community. We're just talking to part of it. Ours is about the people, it's about you. Wi-Fi Now is about the business. Wi-Fi Tracks is about getting certified and learning. They all can exist. We have other, this is, this is my NASCAR slide, and note there's no vendors on here. There's other community organizations. So I, I think we just should build the community and support those organizations that support what we're trying to do with our, our careers. This year, we're gonna launch a new thing with GT, where's GT, is he here? Oh, hiding. Uh, so, uh, my company, Wireless Sound Professionals, is the ones who put on this conference. We also do a lot of training, and so we're gonna launch uh, some new training, and you probably saw these when you got them last night. Uh, a list of some classes that we'll be holding at GT's Titan Ranch, which is basically a refurbished, um, remodeled missile silo out in central Arkansas. Someplace in Arkansas, I don't know how central it is. Um, great place to hold a class, so if you're interested in more of the boot camp-like experiences, a lot of our boot camps we held here will be holding there as well. So how do you present to this audience? Well, first thing you have to know is know your audience. That is not your audience, by the way. <laughs> I'm looking out, that's not what I see. Um, but know your audience. When you're gonna present, if you have an hour, that's a long time, you have a lot to do. You can introduce yourself, you can introduce your topic, you can talk and have some time to share the information. But we don't have enough hours in our conference to have a lot of those. So we have 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you have a lot of time. But you don't have a lot of time to set the stage and you know, prepare and do the old thing like you learned in school. And those, most of you who are presenting are presenting 10 talks. You definitely don't have time. If you have a slide that has your name on it and you don't even say your words of your name, you've done a good introduction. Because you don't have time in 10 minutes to go, well, the problem is we need to support BYUD. BYUD is really about and you describe the problem, by the time you get done setting the stage, you don't have time to finish and get your conclusion. So just start right out. Everyone in this room knows what WEP is. They know what 802.11 is. They know what BYOD is. They know what clients are. They know what AX is. They may not know all the intricacies of AX, and if you're talking about some specific thing, Coleman, OFDMA, talk about it. But assume your audience is smarter than you think. If they're not, too bad because there's nothing worse in this audience than assuming they're too dumb and then you try to bring them up and then you're gonna lose the audience. So know your audience and be able to present to them properly. And while we're here, have fun, get engaged, talk to others, find your five friends. I'm not gonna ask you to give me a list of the names of your five friends. Maybe I should, uh, but if you're new, 
five, five friends. If you're old, five, find, find five new friends. Okay, so any questions before we need to get started? Good, because we don't do questions. If you're a presenter and you get to the end of your session and you want to say any questions, slap yourself, just like really hard. Because if you didn't answer their questions in your presentation in 10 minutes, you don't have time to have them ask one. If you have in a one hour session, we may have some time for a Q&A. If you're going to ask a question and it starts out with a statement, we will turn the microphone off. Some people like to make a statement and then at the end put a question mark. And just like, and what do you think about that? So uh, this is a, you'll note we also don't have any panel discussions because panel discussions take zero prep time. I've been on panel discussions. I know they don't take, you just sit down and wait and someone talks to you. So I'd like you to have as nice of delivery as you can. Share your information with everyone in the room. Have fun. We've got breaks in the morning, breaks in the afternoon, lunch, bathrooms around the corner, and Perry, you're on.